take the dead mother and Boyd open the door. So now we're going into the uh, insane asylum, essentially. I get to the top of the tower like I did in my vision. Alright, well let's explore. Punch jar to free brain. That's right, we were supposed to... Oh, you kissed it! Urgh. Excellent find. I feel like that's brain. If you take it back to Ford Cruller for recranalization, your total mental health potential will be increased. Yes! Alright. Finally! Now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Gee, you and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still out? <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Cough kind of jumped up at me. Can I get up there? Just gonna explore the area before I follow. Oh, it's a new area. Take that. I'm going to explore this area before I go down the path. Make sure that I'm not uh, missing something. Oh, the brain over there. Don't worry, friend. I'll put this one right next to Kitty. Oh, don't kiss it, man, Raz. It's a brain. Oh, card. I have eight. Is it nine or seven that... Uh, Need a, a psyops for that. Looks like a cage or an elevator or something. So I'm just finding things to destroy. I'll take that. That didn't give me anything. Nothing in the fountain. Can I blow up the chair? Yep. Nothing for the chair. That's something. Nothing for that either. Alright, so before I go over there, I open something right here. What is this? Oh, a uh, card. Just collected on the side cards to make another side challenge marker. So it's nine that I need. But I don't have a Psy core, so I'm going to have to buy one of those before I go turn those cards in. I'm just looking for, make sure I didn't miss anything here. Oh, brain! Who's is this? Kitty's brain. It's fake, but it is better groomed than the rest of the brain. Oh, don't kiss it. Oh, Raz. You just kissed a raw brain. Ooh. Hello. Thank you all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. All right, talk to me. Excuse me, ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. Uh-huh. Uh, you are, uh, slightly out of your mind. Oh, you found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Uh, or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey, what? You're supposed to be dead. What? <laughs> All right, she turned on me rather quickly. Oh, I didn't want to take it. Hmm. Okay. Um, how Gloria control her mood swings? All right, how would I do that? Well, I have 
flowers. So which way did I come in? I came in that way. There's a little path this way. Oh, I'm not sure I wanted to go this way just yet. Oh, wait. Don't listen to him. Retreat. Shut up, you fool. The battle is ours. Wellington is on the run. This is our moment of glory. Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won. We're going to lose it. I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? Ah, now see, you've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. <laughs> Le jour de gloire est arrivé. Whatever. All right, I am definitely in the sane asylum. There is weirdos, ooh, bouncy, all over the place. Oh, I think I see a brain up there. I'm going to do levitation. Uh, there we go. Get off the ball. Now Chloe screams this one through that helmet, you'll never know. <laughs> oh, yes. Really? Do you have to kiss him? Can I log this ball up that thing? Nope. Can smash it though. Let me get that. Okay, I got a bouncy bed that I can't destroy. So Hold still. Oh wait, I gotta. There we go. There we go. I figured it out. I'm so smart. Ah, that is gonna just make me sick every time you do that, Raz. <sighs> Question is, do I want to stay in here, or do I want to go? back to that lady um, I don't know if I cannot get up there or if I just missed it nope I can't get up there uh, what is that okay teddy bear this golden day Gotta be an up. Somehow, some way. I never asked for this war. <sighs> this is a lovely place you got here, guys. Eh, look at him. <gasps> oh, there's something up there. <laughs> Don't fall. <sighs> Fuck, Raz. Used to be just an average loon. Didn't embarrass himself so much. I got it though. Fell down, but I got it. Don't throw him. A gnome. Glows like I can interact with it, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Ooh, there's a card up there. Okay. Go there. Nope. Man, this is a little too floaty for me. Oh, and there's one there. Ooh, and something up there, too. That I have that I can swing on. Okay. I'm going to fall off and destroy that, I know. 
start out of your thing and go, oh, there's a type rope. I want to bring. And I fell. Oh, come on. Okay. Can you walk along the edge? There you go. Chaps. What is up, eh? <sighs> Yee. Alright. Nope. Mm -hmm. Let me talk to you. What do you tell me? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Yeah, Bonaparte. General? Shh. I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the idiot. He denied the vineyard because he feared me. You'll have to excuse me. I'm busy losing the battle with my sanity here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are losing the battle with sanity. Help Fred with the battle in his mind. I'm gonna have to go into these guys' minds. Secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Doctor Laboto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Roboto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. Alright. That's the guy with the metal hands. Uh, trick the orderly into letting you into the elevator. Find a claw for the Roboto costume. Find a lab coat. For Lobato, find a face. A face. Oh boy. Whose face am I going to take? <sighs> I do want to try something. I don't know that I'm going to like this, but I'm going to try it. Alright, I am going to try and get inside her brain. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. No, I didn't want to pick up the thing. Ah. Uh. Oh boy, this is going to be scary. A simple boo will do. Okay, Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Agatha Home. Uh oh. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic. Who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Benita to take the stage again. And you're the star of my show, kid. <sighs> all right. I have to get that uh person onto the stage again I didn't even see that filament oh tag yes steamer trunk there's a bottom here I wasn't sure there was a bottom I didn't want to drop fall off and fall out of the world audience is full of these things okay should be interesting. Bug. Ah, 
I'm going to get rid of all of these people in the audience and I'm going to convince this actress to come out and make her great debut. A couple cobweb things, so I need my uh, cobweb duster. Got it. Yep. I need to return. Figure out what when I uh, take those back to um, Crowley's thing. Okay, somebody's crying. Oh, it's up there. Okay, okay. I need to get rid of these things. Arrowheads. I will take those. Okay, let me finish the stage first. Oh, another tag. Purse tag. I'm just going to smash up everything in here. Because you don't need it, right? Oh, cobweb duster. Got it. Do I have you? A suitcase. Right I have a purse and a steamer trunk. I don't have a suitcase tag. I'll come back for you, though, buddy. This is... Not too bad. Thought I'm in a crazy person's brain, and it's interesting. I'll say that much. So I got my duster out, right? Actually, I'm not gonna go up in there just yet. I want to finish the bottom part first. I got some stuff over there I didn't pick up. Did I drop a... There we go. Oh, nope. Don't fall. There's some floating filaments. I want them. There they are. Oh. Enough of playing with the things. Let's go up this ladder. What on earth? I don't know what that is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Okay. Hmm. Climb back up this thing. I'm just trying to figure this out. Where I need to go or how I need to get to all the places that I need to get. How do I get up that way? Nope. Fell. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I have that one. I have the purse tag. <clears throat> So how do I get up there? Can't change my camera angles. Nope. All right. 
So I don't know how to deal with him. I don't know how to get all the way up there. So, who are you? Everything under control there, Becky? Ah! Why did you say that? What have you heard? Everything's fine, except that our production has no star. You get the latest the latest. Everything will be great. Her dressing room is behind the stage to the right and at the end of the hall. Behind the stage to the right end of the hall. I don't have your tag. That's what I need here. I will get your thing. I promise, little guy. Hey, guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey, guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. I need to do invisibility. Get all this stuff first. Hey, careful! The president gave me that to keep me quiet about our affair. Oh. Okay, let me talk to you. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? Hey, sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? <laughs> Ah, uh, I think that's right away for you, big number. So, who's that crying? So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. Okay. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? Yeah, what am I gonna have to do? If you can get me some help out there, so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work, but you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. So, are you ready for your big number? Did you put a candle in that spotlight <laughs> and light it yet? No, but I'm about to. So, uh, five minutes, Miss Soleil. Thanks, Sonny. All right. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now, where was I? <laughs> I've got to light the spotlights. That I can destroy that, can't I? Yes, I can. All right. Storeroom. Trunk, trunk, trunk. Vault, whatever he is. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Don't you run away from me. Gloria's cruel training. <clears throat> Look at the home for girls. Looks like she's taken there. Looks like they're dancing. Somebody's cracking the whip on them. And they're singing. And they're watching movies. Man, not a harsh taskmistress there. 
Somebody was not happy about that. I guess being forced to go to um, school and to become a star when they didn't want to. Somebody's crying. What? Nah. Someone was bouncing around here. Okay. I want to ride the rail up. Apparently I can't. All right. Take the ladder. There's my cobweb duster. All right, where's all my items? Oh, game, did you fucking... <sighs> oh, game, if you glitched on me, I am gonna be pissed. You know how hard it was I worked to get that cobweb duster? <sighs> oh, game, please don't do this to me. So I'll say a prayer that my game isn't fucked up. Uh, where's levitation? Damn it. I just want to know where my cobweb duster is. Damn it. Damn it. Overshot it. listen to that anymore um man I'm just seeing where I have to go okay got those two didn't get all the way up there ah <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Camera. You're not helping. Candle. So how do I get onto that candle? Nope. I need to get onto that platform. Oh, camera. All right. Okay. Alright, type rope. Where are you? There you are. No! No, 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 no. <sighs> okay, got the candle. Is there anything else I'm missing in here? Nope. So, candle. Where was 
is that thing. Okay, he's over there. Oh, so help me, game. If you glitched out and I lost everything I had, I am going to be so fucking pissed. Now, how can I light that candle? Fire. I know how to light it. Fi where's fire? Fire. I'm going to go L2. Here we go. Candle lit. There she is, bright and sunny and beautiful. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. <sighs> All right. Whoa, 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 careful. That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets, total chaos, or worse, improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. All right, I am sure I'm going to have to switch that candle up. Fight the phantom. Find our way up to the catwalks. I don't know how to find my way up to the catwalks. But we will figure that out in the next video. I think this uh, performance is done. And when we come back, uh, we will figure out uh, how to fight the Phantom and get out of this really weird mine. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.